So you are a tutorial beginner from ClickUp. I'm going to show you how to get started using ClickUp tutorially for free in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to get started with a ClickUp. So I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free using ClickUp, guys. Just go ahead and add your email as well as a passcode and verify your account. Now, this process is really simple. If you wanted to see a really walk through how we can do this, you have a link of an actual video of how we can do this in a very easy way. Now, for people who now have an actual account and they wanted to get started here, you might see that creating your first workspace and project, it's a little bit hard because there's a lot of elements that you can see here and you don't know how to get started. So what I wanted to do is to focus and here into the little part, it says spaces. Now to make this much more easier, we wanted to start from scratch, right? So if I click into view all the spaces, here what you can do is to show all the spaces. Of course, you can just focus into different elements. So for example, let's say that I do have one branding. So I go for a new space. Into my new space, I'm gonna name my very first branding. Let's go for cool cats. Now here, I'm gonna select a specific icon. You can choose this element or you can upload your own avatar. So to make this stuff much more faster for me, what I'm gonna be doing here is to select the logo of my store, a short description, and if you want to make this only for yourself, let's go for make it private. Now I go for continue, and here we can define our workflow. Now, in this case, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose starter for everyday task. If you wanted to, of course, do project management, you can select and enable this element. What you can do is to manage more elements as you're focusing them. So let's say, for example, that for starters, I only go for starter selection. Now here, I have to customize the default for status, for example, the default views. I have the task added here, for example, the to-do list and progress and complete. So if you want to, what you can do is to add more status. For example, here, if I select a template, I can, of course, choose one. But in this case, what I need to do is just to focus into the default views. Let's say that I disabled the board and I enabled. Now, if you want to enable click application, it can help you to do this process much more faster. So I'm going to just focus into create my space. And now automatically your space should be created and here should be appearing into the pod. Now, as you can see, I have now my space um, private. So I have my very first list. I'm going to click into my very first list. And as you can see, we have the list view. I have a to-do list and I have board. If you want to, you can choose board. I use board because it's much more faster to understand what am I doing and what I needed to do, let's say in a specific due date time. So I have three fields here, the to-do list, stuff that I haven't started, in progress and complete. If you wanted to add much more elements directly in the, then what you can do is to, of course, add them later. So let's say, for example, that I rename this list and I go for social media. So now this social media list, I have the to-do list and here into progress. But let's say, for example, that I, I change the in progress elements and I go for recorded. Now I have a full element here. Now in to-do list, let's say that I go for my very first Facebook post. I can add in a specific date, let's say today, and the priority, I can go for normal, and I go for safe. So I here now I have my Facebook post where I can get started in. I can add a new task, for example, Instagram post, and do exactly the same thing. Let's go for this is for tomorrow, and my priority is normal, and I saved it. Now I have to do two stuff to do here inside ClickUp. So as you are finishing your elements, you should be seeing here into your dashboard. That of course you have the information about what you have done so far. So I'm gonna first start from scratch, a workload by status. And automatically all the information will be filled at end up. So as you can see here is my progress of the dashboard of what we have done so far. We can add a new card, for example, and spring build down task list to be added and whatever. So I'm just gonna enable all of those and add cards and you can see that we have more information there. Of course, this is totally depending on how would you like to see your progress and all of that. But I can just focus only into the spaces to make sure everything works great. Now, if you wanted to add somebody else directly into your list, you can go directly into the lip hall that says invite. And you can choose if this one is a member or an administrator. 
And lastly, you can track your progress in reporting. Now I'm going to show you the applications in the ClickUp. If you focus into the upper side, I get to focus here into quick action menu and you have now the app center. Into the app center, what you can do is to add elements that can be helping you to do your work much more faster. For example, adding the Google Drive. It can be helping you to connect this directly into your store or into your product management so you can use to use these elements to import uh, depending on what you're actually doing here into your tracking device. Those are the integrations on the automation. Now, if you want to have mobile accessibility, you can download all the application, you have more mobile features, so you can use this actual element not only into your computer, but also into your mobile phone. So this is just a very easy way of how we can actually use ClickUp. You now know how to get started using this product management tool. You now know how to create your very first list, check out your boards, check out your dashboard, check out your inside, adding applications, tracking time, and a lot of elements there. So with that being said, guys, you have listened to the very end of the video, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools and how we can use this great tools of the product management dashboard sections. Thank you once again for watching the video. Hopefully we can also see you next time.